Hey guys, it's Jelly here. Uh, it's been a while since my last vid, as usual, but this is the closest war that Viper has had in a while, and there are a couple of attacks that I want to highlight. But first, before I get into those attacks, which are Jai He Ho attacks, I want to give a hat tip to the Town Hall 9s uh, in Reddit Viper who have absolutely been destroying uh, enemy Town Hall 9s this war. Uh, the Black Hand, formerly known as Tucker, uh, there on number 5 and then on a lower base has some beautiful Goho attacks. Uh, Eternal X, uh, with a couple of Go Wipe attacks, um, has, has decimated, I think, two enemy bases. Justin, with Back End Hogs on a Go, on a go Wipe style of attack, uh, also has six stars. Uh, Pritz, with uh, uh, Go Valoon, uh, or sorry, Go Laloon attacks, or Penta Laloon attacks. Uh, Adam uh, had a beautiful attack on number 15. Uh, Rudy, with his back end jump spell go wipe attack, has three star uh, two different bases, 16 and 17 there. Uh, there's the other one by Eternal X. Uh, Sticks, a relatively new Town Hall 9, uh, pulling it off on some pretty tough bases uh, with some nice hogging style attacks. Woody, down a hero, uh, has pulled off uh, a couple of really beautiful attacks this war. Uh, those are Woody's two uh, right there. Uh, excellent for being a new Town Hall 9. There's Justin's other attack. So you can see that we're leaving very few stars behind on the Town Hall 9s. This is, uh, this is a great job. These were uh, not easy bases. Um, and the first attack that I wanted to show you, uh, the Jai He Ho, is from Elfie. Elfie still has an attack left. The war's not over. We're pretty sure that we've pulled this one out. Uh, but we'll scout this one first just so you can kind of get a feel for what we're looking at. Uh, these are pretty well designed war layout bases. This happens to be an internet, ba internet base and there is video on, uh, on the internet uh, three starring it. Uh, from that video you know that the giant bomb locations one is here uh, and one is here. That uh, the other potential giant bomb locations contain a Tesla or traps. Uh, and uh, Elfie elects to go for this with a Jai He Ho coming from the, uh, from the top left. Uh, and the beautiful thing about this Jai Ho is he knows he needs to get to that, uh, that double giant bomb spot, which is right here. And so he actually deploys a jump spell, which spans the entire compartment that the double giant bomb is in. And that forces his giant squadron right through that entire compartment, um, takes out uh, the double giant bomb spot, but also gets them close enough so that the queen aggros. They pull off one uh, expo on, uh, on the top side, and that allows him to send in his flanking hog patterns. Uh, and he does this delicately uh, in such a way that the hogs take out first the entire southern portion of the base, uh, and then uh, he, uh, he uses the remainder of his hog squad uh, to pull off sort of the cleanup along the top. But this is a really nice attack. He does a great job with it. So here's the replay. <clears throat> um, you can see he, uh, well, I'll... I'll Give it a second and let it start. Uh, the loons are for the CC lure. Uh, you can see that uh, that they get taken out pretty quick, but the more important thing about the loons is that they keep his giants going where he wants them. Uh, he sends in a couple giants ahead of the main group. He does that in case there's any uh, traps outside the walls. And then he just hangs out there with the healers and uh, waits for the giants. It's a beautiful thing about especially these, these high-level giants. They do enough damage to, uh, to pound through even these level 10 walls. Uh, once the Giants are in, the CC starts to pull. He's got a Rage spell ready for that. Um, but there you see that jump that I talked about go down. Uh, and that placement was just key. The Rage spell placement is also key. Look at where he puts this. He's not actually raging the front of his armada. The front of his armada is here. He's already got Giants in this compartment thanks to that jump spell. He's raging at the back so that his Wizards and Healers are the main target of the Rage. And that enables those troops uh, to take out the CC troops, and now you see the first set of hogs going in. And when I say delicately, because you see these hogs are deployed in such a way that all of the point defenses that are targeting his giants do literally no damage to them, and he's still got eight hogs in reserve. The giants are in the central compartment, they're killing the queen, he drops a giant to draw fire from point defenses up high, sends in the rest of the hogs. His healers now have been taken out, unfortunately for him, uh, by expos and air defenses, uh, mostly by that top expo. So that top group of hogs could have come in a little bit sooner and it might have saved him a healer uh, to clean up the rest of the base with. But now he's using his heals to continue to wrap uh, the remaining hogs around the base. And here, he's sort of got a quandary on his hands because his queen is shooting walls like she does, uh, and he still has giants. So he waits as long as he can to use the queen's ability. This retargets the archer towers on the remaining giants in this little tiny group here. Uh, and enables the giants uh, to eventually get through 
and the Hogs enough time uh, to take out all but that last remaining point defense. He has some cleanup wizards. They're working their way around the base uh, on the bottom side. And this is going to wind up a, a, a beautiful three-star attack on, on a pretty tough base. That one remaining hog uh, takes care of uh, the rest of these buildings along the top, and then the queen uh, heads over to help as soon as she gets out. So I'll fast forward to the edge there. The keys to that, uh, to that attack really are his understanding of what his giants needed to do to draw fire for his hog groups, especially the hog group along the south side, uh, and his spell placement. Uh, in terms of that jump and in terms of that rage. And then everything else is, uh, is really, uh, it just comes together nicely for him in that attack. And based on Elfie's attack, uh, I decided to try a Jai Ho on, uh, on their number four. Now, this base is actually, I think, set up even, even better for Jai Ho than the base that, uh, that Elfie attacked. Uh, the first thing that you notice about this base is that uh, if hogs are deployed along the bottom uh, or along the top, that hog pathing will take them through the center of the base. And this is because he's got so many of these uh, defense, non-defensive structures, uh, high hit point structures here, that will stop a hog path coming from, for example, this cannon to this archer tower to this mortar. Uh, from continuing along that upper right side, it will direct that, the hog group back towards the center. Uh, it will take out expos, it will take out air defenses, it will take out heroes, uh, and then there shouldn't be much left along the side. So. I lure the CC uh, from the top using a couple of giants, uh, and then I pull the CC all the way down to the bottom here, uh, and then send in my Jai Ho from the bottom. The reason I do this is so that I can target the Archer Queen. Uh, I want to get her out of the way so that my hogs have time to do the damage that they need to do. I actually cut this pretty close. Um, I probably could have done a better job uh, saving a couple of hogs to take out some of the outer compartments, but on the whole this attack goes pretty well. I'll get it started here. Uh, first thing that happens is the giants up top, uh, they lure the CC. This CC turns out not to have a witch in it, uh, thank goodness. I hate CC witches, they're a pain in my butt. Um, but he has a lot of minions. Now the nice thing about minions is it turns out they're really easy to kill as long as you can distract them. So I've got an archer down here now, I've got the whole CC coming down. Um, I throw in the standard two barbs, a few more archers, the uh, witches, and then the wizards. There's the barbs, there's the archer, there's the... Uh, witches, then a few wizards. The CC goes out really pretty quickly, uh, and you can see that the skeletons spawning are just eating up those witches there. And I send in all the giants there. I send them in on this side. The reason I do that is that the lower left AD would be capable of targeting uh, my healers if my healers uh, were to make it all the way into this bottom compartment. Uh, so anything uh, too close up there is really at a lot of risk of being targeted by the healer. I set up my funnel, three witches, or sorry, three whiz on one side, two whiz on the other. Uh, they get my troops, including my, sea, or my heroes, uh, completely into the core, and then I send my hogs in in two groups really early, and I do this because of the hog pathing uh, that I talked about earlier. Uh, so you can see that the hogs are now just heading uh, right up the center of this base, my heal spell placement, frankly, it's pretty easy. I could have done a little bit better on the right one there. And then I jumped the gun on my heal spells uh, for, the, for the, uh, the third and the fourth here. I was assuming that the hogs would continue to go, uh, to go north. Uh, and the hogs actually, and this turned out to be useful, uh, wound up heading uh, to the left and to the right here uh, and taking out these outside compartments. But it means that I've got heal spells kind of sitting up here uh, being useful. Now, at this point, I haven't used the ability on either one of my heroes. I still have all three healers. So my troops are really in a pretty good place here, especially this last AD is getting taken out. Um, time turned out to be my enemy, so I'll speed this up a little bit. You can see I've got a ton of giants there. Uh, they're eating up defenses, uh, but there's just so much of this base left, uh, and my hogs are gone. And so my Archer Queen, of course, uh, she takes out uh, some, of, some important defenses here. Uh, my healers actually focused on a witch there and enabled the Archer Queen to kill uh, that uh, Tesla Tower. Uh, but now we're just kind of at the end here. And what winds up being the thing that almost gets me is this cannon here. I think I go down to the final five seconds of the replay. Uh, but really, the, I've got so many troops left um, that if, if I hadn't gotten that, it would have just frankly been unlucky. Uh, there's the three star. Uh, so principles for Jai Hee Ho. Uh, watch where your, uh, where your healers are going to go. Try to keep them alive as long as you can. Uh, your hog groups are almost always going to be flanking your main group of giants. Uh, and then uh, think ahead. Uh, think about hog pathing, think about giant pathing, and about your spell usage. 
Uh, that's it, guys. Uh, jelly out.